Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Primark and Disney Store haul video. Um, I've been to Primark and spent way too much money than what I can afford and then I'm afraid Matt, Disney Matt, is a bad influence and I kind of ended up buying a few more things from Primark and the Disney Store with him. And there's something else I'm going to show you at a later date when it comes in the post. So, and it's all going on this video, but yeah, for now, let's dig in because there's a lot to get through. So the first thing I'm going to show you is these Harry Potter pyjamas. As you can see, it's got Hedwig on the top and it's like a t-shirt with like trouser buttons that are covered in owls and it says, waiting for my letter. And I just saw these and I was like, these are really cool looking Harry Potter pyjamas. I like the colour because blue is a really nice colour. At first I thought they were Ravenclaw pyjamas and I was looking for Hufflepuff ones and then I realised it wasn't house related at all. And yeah, these are £10. I also picked up from the Harry Potter range this really nice double duvet cover set. It's got obviously Harry's spectacles and lightning bolts and it's for my double bed it comes with like the duvet cover and two pillowcases and it's a nice little set and it costs 20 pounds but because i have four pillows and obviously it doesn't come with a fitted sheet i had to buy those as well so i've got these in black and the pillowcases cost one pound 70 for two and the fitted sheet cost five pound 50. and not that i'm really going to go into these but basically for placement when I wear my top, it's white and you can see underneath, so you can't really wear coloured bras and I only have one white bra. So I bought two of these. This one was £2.50, this one was a fiver, and that's all you're going to see of my underwear. <laughs> the final bit of clothing I have to show you is another Harry Potter related item. I'm just digging all the Harry Potter merch at Primark at the minute, as well as the Disney stuff, but it's this... Hufflepuff jumper. I'm just going to take the size label off so you can see the jumper a bit better. But yeah, it's got the Hufflepuff emblem of the badger and I can't wait to wear it. It feels very nice and warm. And yeah, this is really, really cute and this cost me £8. Now to the Disney stuff. Again, I'm showing you the Disney stuff from Primark first. As you know, Disney Christmas decorations are in store at Primark or they're being rolled out into Disney stores as we speak and I've bought a six foot tree like two weeks ago I know it's only September but I bought my Christmas tree in August you know what can you do and so I'm really excited to um, buy Christmas decorations and things because I've never had the chance to have like my own sort of Disney tree and I've come to a compromise with my flatmate where it's going to be half Disney, half Harry Potter because Primark's Harry Potter Christmas decorations are also really good um, and I've basically bought most of the Disney ones so I'll show you which ones I've bought here. First one I'll show you is the biggest and it's Tinkerbell and it says she leaves a little sparkle everywhere she goes. I don't know if that'll focus properly. Um, but yeah, you can like spin it around and all the glitter inside come, um, is like shakeable, which is really nice. Not that you would on a tree, like, because it's going to hang there, but this cost five pounds. There was a Mary Poppins one as well, but I wasn't too keen on that one, so I didn't get it. And it says practically perfect in every way on it. Uh, the next load of Christmas decorations are the more traditional um, Mickey ones. So you've got like Mickey shorts and you've got Minnie with a ball there and like a snowy one. They're just really, really cute and classic. They had these versions in pink and I was just like, I prefer the red and the black, like the classic ones. And as you can see, these cost four pounds. They also have this range here, which is really nice. They're all sparkly. There's like a silver one, a gold one, like a darky gold black one, and then this one. Again, this cost four pounds. And these just appeal to me as well. Like, I know they're not the classic, like the red and black, but yeah, I like a bit of glitter and a little bit of sparkle at Christmas. And then the ones I have to show you from this bag, the final one, these were four pounds and they're like smaller. You've got, Mick, again, the classic, you've got Mickey's hands, his shorts, 
uh, there's one that's pure black there's a little mini 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 um, yeah again four pounds um, cannot wait to start putting these on the tree those were all the ones I bought by myself when I went to Primark on the Tuesday the next day Matt came over to visit me and again we went back to Primark and I happened to see that there were some other different kinds of um, Disney Christmas baubles and hanging things. So I bought some more! <laughs> um, firstly I picked up Cinderella and Belle and this is what they look like and I had to sift through a lot of the boxes because some of the faces and the eyes, especially on Cinderella here, are really, really bizarre. I don't think that's going to focus. But, yeah, her eyes on some of them were really weird. She either looked Chinese or she looked really scared or she looked disapproving. And I feel like I've got quite a normal looking Belle and Cinderella here. These cost £5. And then I also saw... Ariel and Flounder and I was like okay these were the only ones left on the shelf I'm getting them like these are mine and they don't look too bad actually um Ariel's like forehead under her hair doesn't look as though they, it looks like they've forgotten to paint it but oh well um but yeah I'm very excited because Ariel is one of my favorite Disney princesses so she's gonna look lovely on my tree and then these ones you can't even see because they're facing the wrong way um, but it's Mickey and Minnie so I'm going to open them up so we can get a proper look at them because who knows what the state of them is from the front literally I picked them up and I'm like they're facing backwards why would you pack them that way at the warehouse I don't know so anyway let's crack them open And this is what they look like from the front ways. We've got a Mickey head. And we've got Minnie. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So those were all I got from Primark. Now to show you what I've been buying from the Disney store. Okay, so you know those face masks with the princesses? Uh, you got like Aurora, Jasmine, Belle, Ariel. Um, something really clever, which I hadn't seen before, was this Cinderella foot mask and like I thought how perfect like for slippers and the masks for the feet sound really good like I've bought foot masks before and usually you don't have them on that long but this one here says you leave them on for 40 to 50 minutes and then between 5 to 10 days like all your dry and manky skin will come off your feet and you'll have lovely soft feet which would be quite nice to have because I'm always on my feet as a student nurse so I can't wait to give these a try. Um, these were quite expensive, I think, for what they are, so I hope they're good and worth the money. It was £7. Something else I bought, and I don't actually have room in my cupboards for, and I don't know where I'm going to put it, is this really awesome Chippendale Rescue Rangers mug. And on the front here, it's got Chippendale, obviously, with the traditional logo of the Rescue Rangers. And then on the back... You've got, on the back you have the whole gang, so you have Gadget, Chippendale, Monty, I forget the fly's name, I'm terrible. This was my absolute favourite show as a child, like every Saturday morning I would be watching this, it was literally my favourite. Ch -ch -ch Chippendale, Rescue Rangers. Just love it so I'm really glad to have another mug and even on the bottom I don't know if you can see but there's like the Rescue Rangers logo there as well which I absolutely adore <laughs> um, so yeah I don't know I don't actually use my Disney mugs my flatmate gets more use out of my Disney mugs than I do um, this was actually reduced I've been eyeing it up for months because obviously it's been full price and like a full £10 but today at the Disney Star that and like the Dark Queen Duck and the Tailspin mugs have all been reduced to just £5. Something else I bought from the Disney Star right is 
another Christmas ornament and I already have two Brave ones from Disneyland Paris. One was given to me by my friend Chantelle of the Brave Cubs and it's like a soft one and then another one is like a more round bauble with like the boy, the Brave Boy Cubs inside of it but I don't have a Merida one and I was like umming and ahhing and I'm like well I'm gonna get it anyway I might as well get it today and so I have a Merida! Will it focus? Come on, focus on the thing. There we go. There's a Merida, looking very, very brave, very, very fierce. And she's absolutely lovely. I couldn't... I couldn't be bothered raking through the whole rack uh, to see which was the best one. But she's actually not in too bad a condition, so she's going to look lovely on my tree. She is expensive. She was £13. I think all of the princess ones are that are there. The Disney have got a great range of Christmas ornaments, but they are really pricey. So this is like a one-off for me, but I just had to have her to go with her brothers. And then finally, up for this clip anyway, the next clip will be what? Another thing I'm going to show you in a minute, in just a sec. Um, I bought two packs of the Series 15 figural key rings. And in the packs, you've probably all seen it on my Insta story, what I got anyway, if you were watching um, from the day that I got these. But you can get Hercules, Hades, Megara, Esmeralda, Quasimodo, Cusco, uh, Kronk, Heimlich on his own for some reason, Yzma, and two mystery ones. One which looks like Hades and one that looks like uh, the Llama Cusco. So um, I got two packs of these and I just thought I'll show you these now on the whole. They were £4.99 each, the packs, but I'm really happy with the ones I got because I got here Esmeralda. Move out the way, Dale. Um, yeah, Esmeralda here looking absolutely sassy and wonderful. And then the next one, which I was really pleased about because it's from one of my favourite Disney movies ever, um, is... Megara from Hercules! It's been a slice. So, yeah, I'm really chuffed with having these two fierce little ladies on my keys. I think I'm actually going to take Chippendale off because they're starting to look a bit grubby and a bit grotty. And um, yeah, I'll just leave like Megara and Esmeralda on for now. And yeah, um, just keep watching because in a sec I'm going to show you something else I bought from the Disney store. It's a few days later and I have a parcel which has come from the Disney store in Oxford Street, London, which I asked my friend Elliot to go and pick up for me. So let's see what's inside. It's August Mickey Memories! Um, I actually missed the online release for this because um, I was in Austria at the time and I was gutted because there was no more available to buy online. Newcastle didn't have any more of these but I saw on my friend Steph's Instagram post that the Oxford Street store still had loads and I asked Elliot who works at the Apple store on Oxford Street to go and pick me one up because August is my birth month and I really wanted to have this Mickey for my birth month. So I think I paid Elliot about £27 in total, which I don't even care, like it was worth it. And just look how cute he is. I love that he's gold and black. It's very, very cute. And I like the feel of him too. So yes, very happy. If you've liked this video, thumbs up, comment down below, hit subscribe, and I'll probably be doing another haul at some point in the future. Ha ha ha, bye for now.